Blessings, my brothers and sisters, your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. I hope you're having a blessed day today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Blessings to all. Thank you for all. Thank every person that's praying for my eyesight to be healed. I have a second surgery coming up. After I get that done and everything is back to normal, I will do an amazing video to bless so many people and give so many thank yous to those that donated, that gave, and really stood up, you know, in the gap for me. Amen. Uh, the Bible says we're not an island to ourselves. We need each other. I praise God for that, for the opportunity to needing each other. Amen. Like I pray for you, you pray for me. Uh, none of us are exempt from the attacks of the enemy. We know that. We know the devil attacks, but we know that great is he that lives in us. And we also know that God rises up a standard, you know, a standard against the devil. There ain't nothing the devil can do that God will not allow it to happen. So I'm cool with that. I can live with that. And I can praise the Lord with that. Amen. So, also those that are praying for my mom about her cancer. My mom's doing very well. Thank you so much for those prayers as well. So, just wanna, I just want to come on and share. In October month, we know it's witchcraft month. We know what the devil's up to. We know this is a heavy-duty month on witchcraft, spiritual warfare at its best. Amen. That's why we have to be armed and dangerous. we got to guard our salvation, guard our minds, our hearts, amen, our eyes, our ears. Because this is what the enemy does. You know, there's people out there still believing, even pastors. Shame on these pastors. Shame on these pastors that believe that they can celebrate something without no consequences. Amen. It's like, it remind me of David. David thought that, you know, he can commit ad adultery. And uh, and David thought that, you know, he can hide it. David thought that, you know, somehow he can set it up in a way that, you know, he can get away with it. You know, he got his uh, best friend killed. We know Zariah got killed. We know David and Mary Bathsheba. They tried to have a baby. Well, they did uh, out of wedlock. There was a baby involved. And the Lord took the baby home. And and I bring that up as, as a... As a an example, how, how is it that you celebrate Halloween? I mean, I came from 25 years of the devil, demonic, despicable, witchcraft, satanic shadows of the dark side. And, and we look forward to Halloween. We were excited for, for that whole month of October because it was a high season of witchcraft. The elevation of the demonic was up and running. You know, during Halloween, during, during the month of October, especially like now, towards, towards right now, towards getting towards the middle and uh, towards the middle, towards the 17th and on, it just gets crazy in the demonic world. And, 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 and we believe, pastors believing that, oh, we're just going to have a safe place for children to celebrate, a safe place. You know, the candies that you purchase at the supermarket, at Walmart, at Costco, whatever, they were prayed for. Those candies were prayed for by demonic devil worshiping devil those despicable people that don't want nothing to do with your kids, they hate your kids, they hate God, they hate the image of God, they hate the church, they hate Christians, and they pray for your candies. And you go buy candy because you think it's going to be okay that you can do a chunk of treat in your church and dress your, your kid like little Noah, and you can dress your kid like little Isaac, and you can dress your kid like little David or little Esther and stuff to that nature, and you think that the identity, the devil, it plays a chess game with old and young and in between in the Halloween realm of the spirit. And this is what he plays. I know that. I lived it. I got married on Halloween. I had a demonic wedding on Halloween. I had a wedding that warlocks and witches came to my wedding. They baptized it. They initiated it. And they approved it from high levels of witchcraft people that were living in the occult. So how is it that you're telling me that it's safe to celebrate Halloween? It is safe. You're cursing your church. You're a fake pastor. You're a fake leader. And you're not there, but you're only there in the church doing the work of the devil with your fake ministry, your fake uh, secret-friendly crap that you preach. You don't even preach. The stuff that you preach are empty words, no edification, no growth, no edifying your, the body of Christ, no glorifying God. You're not but a phony. When you celebrate this thing, and then you think the rest of the year it's gonna be fine. The devil plays a chess game in Halloween. Chess game in Halloween for your young children, for your children's children. This is the chess game. He starts off by you giving him the legal right of giving him, you sell your identity to the devil on Halloween when you dress up and you come in agreement with such a despicable holiday. Even the Discovery Channel, which is a wicked channel gives you the origin of the wickedness and the despicable of what Halloween stands for. Even Anton LaVey, the one that ran the Church of Satan, he ran the Church of Satan. He, he wrote the book, what they call the Bible for them, but it's not a Bible. It's only one Bible on the earth, the Word of God. 
He wrote the book of the what they call the satanic book. This man said, I think every parent, at least one time a year, you let them celebrate the devil. How shame are you? How disgusting are you that you want to be in partnership with the dark side for one day, 24 hours, and you think that you're going to have no consequences at all? You don't think that the devil is going to infiltrate your house, whether getting you with demonic dreams, chess game, demonic dreams, demonic images in your house, demonic thoughts, darkening your mind, darkening your heart with anger, bitterness, rebellion. It's just those things are the things that the devil come after. And after he come after those things, he, after he dilute and pollute your house, which is this here, this here, your house, he goes after the external things of your house, your children, your family, your marriages, your wealth. He comes after these things because he know he needs to deplete you spiritually. And then when he deplete you spiritually, and then he dispose you completely. Whether your kids go on drugs, whether your, your daughter turns into a hoochie, and you turn around and you tell me, well, I raised my kids in the church. Yeah, but in the in-between, you sold your identity to the devil by celebrating the despicable holiday called Halloween. You sold yourself to the enemy, and now the enemy can do whatever he wants with you because he's playing the chess game. Then he have you watching movies, demonic movie, dark movies on television, because that comes part of the chess game, one piece at a time, one component at a time, dismantling you, unraveling you, taking what belongs to God and diluting it and polluting it because you wanted to dress your kid up, you wanted to be special, you didn't want to be left out because you wanted to celebrate in your crazy pastor and your crazy leadership with this trunk or tree crap, but they don't win souls. They don't go, they, oh, it's a harvest, the harvest. Well, the harvest is souls. Because I didn't hear no harvest about candy and dressing up in the Bible. The harvest of souls. The Bible says it, makes it clear. The harvest is plenty, but the work is a few. So you come here with this joke Halloween costume dressed up, giving out prizes in your church. Safe, safe environment. Come get your candies. The ones that the witches pray for. The ones that the witches put witchcraft on, come get your candies. We got candies in the house of God. No, we should have prayer in the house of God. We should have repentance in the house of God. We should have salvation in the house of God. We should have baptism in the house of God. Not your dirty, filthy laundry in the house of God. That's not even your house. God is good enough, merciful enough to let you have the opportunity to walk into his building and try to preach the true gospel of Jesus Christ. I tell you this because I know what Halloween is about. I know this despicable, this satanic, this diabolical holiday. This, they, you think that Satanist people, you think when I was a Satanist, high level Satanist, not these wannabe black shirt, black nails, cross upside down, those stupid people, they don't know what Satanism is about. Do you think that when I was in the high rank levels of Satanists, I, I have the permission to walk into a Good Friday or Resurrection Sunday church, not paying the consequences what the devil would do to me without his consent, his permission to enter the house of God? What, who's giving you permission to enter the house of God or rent the house of God to the devil one night? to celebrate the despicable holiday that you are, you don't have no anointing, you have no Holy Spirit pastors, and you have no calling. You're nothing but a goat. And that's why you celebrate Halloween. You're not a sheep, and you're not a shepherd, and you have the audacity to celebrate something that you're spitting in the face of the Lord Jesus Christ. But God's going to get you. I promise you that. Because everything we do, including me, is written in heaven. And God's going to ask for an account in heaven. Why did you dress up your child? Why did you give your child as a, as a sacrifice, spiritual sacrifice to the devil? When I made your child, I made you, I made your church, I gave you a calling, and I gave you a birthday and sent it to time to fulfill a plan that I have for you. And you decided to sleep with the enemy. How you like those apples and your fake pastors and leaders and parents putting pumpkins in front of their house and the yard or putting pumpkins in front of their church Pumpkin belong to a demon principality in Santeria. Look it up. Google it. Google it. Santeria. Ochun. The mother of the rivers. She operates with pumpkin, honey, and money. And gold. Okay? And she is a trans. She's a transfiguration of Jezebel in the Bible. But she transfigured herself into Ochun. Which is her, her color is gold. She, 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 uh, she rules the rivers of the world. 
so you can come and make contracts for her. She rules the gold. The gold means you have to give a gold, bring gold to the rivers, pieces of gold to the rivers. You need to bring pumpkins to the river, and you need to bring honey to the river because she's a bitter demon. And that's what she asks for her employees to bring to the, to the rivers. And her sister is Jemaya, which is Jemaya is the mother of the oceans. These demonic forces, these demonic entry, they run, a tune runs with the pumpkin. So when you put that pumpkin in your house and you put that lantern in your house, you're inviting that devil to strip your family naked, complete and fully. So you enjoy that time and then run to the cross for repentance later. I'm sharing this from the bottom of my heart because people talk about Halloween, but they don't know the essence of it. They talk about Halloween and they expose Halloween, but they don't know the essence of Halloween. I lived it for 25 years. 25 years of my life, I will look forward to October month in December. And I'll share December later. I don't want to take away from October. Despicable, despicable, despicable month of witchcraft and ceremonies and rituals and blood sacrifices and candies and costumes and outfits and initiations and, 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 and giving yourself to the enemy by making agreements and giving your identity to the devil. By what? Partaking of something that is an abomination in the eyes of God. So you decide what's more important, Jesus Christ or one night with the devil. You wanna go dance with the devil one night or you wanna be a follower of Jesus Christ? I'm a follower of Jesus. I don't care if I'm a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than be a fool and play with the devil. And you think the devil is a punk? You think the devil take things lightly? Jesus never took the devil lightly in the Bible. Why are you? Why are you taking the devil lightly? When the Lord Jesus Christ fought the devil with, with the word of God in his weakest moment in the wilderness of three temptations, fought the devil and did all, all, the, all the New Testament, Jesus fought the devil to Peter. He fought the devil to Judas. When the devil entered Judas and sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, Peter lied and denied Jesus. He fought the devil that way because he said, the, the devil has asked permission to shift you, but I have prayed for you that your faith don't fail you. Okay? Do your, do, your, do your spiritual homework on that what Jesus Christ has said no to. What Jesus Christ is an abomination. It is an abomination. And it's no to the church of Jesus Christ. Amen? Blessings to all. Love you guys. And I pray this video will edify you and open up your spiritual eyes and show you the truth that you're playing a chess game with the devil when you enter the realms of Halloween. When you enter the realms of Halloween, you're playing a chess game with the enemy and he's going to checkmate you like you've never seen it before. I promise you that. And don't come over here saying, I premeditate, I'll repent later. Oh, I, God knows, God is merciful, God is gracious, God is full of grace and mercy. No, God is full of grace and mercy for only believers that are genuine, not phony, wanna be Christian, Christian Dior, mediocre Christianity. God don't have no tolerance for that crap, okay? Because I'm not gonna premeditate something and then come back and say, oh, I'm gonna ask for repentance. That means you know what, you, you're mocking God when you do those things. Don't mock God, mock the devil, your daddy. Mock him by saying no to him and yes to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus deserved a yes, the devil deserves the no. Blessings to all. This is a Halloween video that is telling you, stay away from darkness. Stay away from the chess game called October, playing chess with the devil. Because you're gonna lose, I promise you that. And don't tell me you have Jesus on your heart, you have Jesus on your side, you feel with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you feel with the Holy Spirit, and you should feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit that you're playing with fire. You should feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. You should embark, you should rent your church out to the devil for one night. You should feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit telling you that Halloween is dark. You should feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. You really have the Holy Spirit like you say you do, then where's your conviction? No, you got religion. You're nothing but a devil. That's what you are. Nothing but a devil dressed up in a Christian outfit. I don't play games. I did it for 25 years. And now that I'm serving Jesus Christ, I gave the devil 100% of my life for 25 years. I'm gonna give Jesus Christ 1000% of my life until he calls me home. And I hope that's your story. In Jesus' mighty name, 
Amen.